Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the round of 32 game 2 between Jay Leave and Olivier Dulac. Um, Jay Leave won the first one with an unbelievable throw teammate and literally just won it. Uh, they're, they're playing the second game instantly after it. Uh, Jay Leave won the toss, chose to kick because it's raining I guess and just in general kicking versus elves is kind of fine isn't it? And uh, wow that's unbelievable, they're straight back into it. And honestly, you could tell by the end of the game, both players' nerves were shot already. And then they went they're straight back into another game. It's pretty wild. Um, yeah, Olivier with, you know, a pretty unusual Wood Elf build. I don't know if this is what he normally does. He does play Wood Elves as well as Skaven um, on tabletop. But a very unusual build with a two sidesteppers and a jump-up tree. Uh, Jay Leave with an All World Alliance team that has some skills. <laughs> um, very strange setup as well. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. I kick. No, uh, no sweeper this game for Olivia. <laughs> Banter. So this is going to be a bit trickier for um, J for Jay Leave as he actually has to play versus a full team. And thank you for the raid, DK Max. Glorious, what a game. What a game we've just witnessed. And what a game we might have straight away. I can't believe, honestly, I can't believe that Olivier just wanted to go straight away. Like, I would want a little bit of a break in between the games, right? Both of them, whether I'd won or lost. Um, especially losing to a throw teammate like that, I would definitely want a few minutes. Um, but Olivier's just straight in. It's past midnight for Olivier. Um, you know, maybe he'll be tilting, right? Who knows? Who knows if he'll be tilting or not? I've got no idea. I'd imagine he doesn't tilt too much. Um, but, you know, everybody tilts sometimes. Oh. Hello, Truk. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We'll get a rematch in the round of 16. Um... <laughs> for both halves of that for both halves of that I'm cheering for not not because <laughs> not because I dislike Andy um, just because I uh, I would really like to make the foot round of eight <laughs> <And> <laughs> but who knows I think I think we've both got very tough games, Truk. I think we've both got very tough games. But you never know. That was a banger, wasn't it? Everyone's gotta tilt sometimes. <laughs> that could be a Hellboy song. Well DK Max, the game that unfolded before our eyes was was unbelievable. Unbelievable, uh, just absolute. I guess they're both. Uh, I guess they're both stressed out, right? Like it's uh, the game that I played that I had to win in the group stage was the most stressful game of football I ever played. So, if they're feeling that kind of pressure for these games, less so, right? I think less so. I think I honestly, I think this game will be less pressure than my final group game and like Tree's final group game like if you have to win well obviously now Olivia does have to win right so it won't be as stressful for Jay Leaf right Jay Leaf just needs a draw so even though it's high stakes and everything and it's versus Olivia Dulac with Wood Elves um, he can afford to draw this game so <laughs> good night cheers it's a full pal. That was quite nice actually, wasn't getting the touch back in the rain because having to pick up on a 3 plus with only two re rolls, he wasn't going to re roll a fail if he had to pick it up, so. Pretty nice getting the touch back there for Olivier.
come and still speechless. I don't know how they're. I don't know how they're playing straight away. I really don't. I would 100% be like, let's play in. You know, half past eleven. Right? It's ten past eleven minutes past eleven now. I'd totally just be like, let's play half past eleven. Give me some kind of, maybe 20 past, right? Give us some kind of break in between. That's wild that they just went straight back in. I don't think I'll be doing that for my games. I do like the kind of back to back though, right? More or less back to back. Blow doing a thing. This is a good way to beat elves, isn't it? Just kill them all. And you know, oh well, the lions can do that as well as anybody, basically. Instant apple. That's fair, right? He's AV 10 plus, isn't he? So. And there's only one mighty blow on the team. So get your apple out. Hope you don't take too many more injuries. Or like any more. Oof, stupid ogre. No, he's gonna sidestep over there. I don't like this blitz. I, mean, I hate this blitz. Okay, he's not. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna surf he's gonna surf the uh Troll Slayer. Four. <laughs> oh no, J Leave. What have you done? What have you done, J Leave? What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hasn't even tried to save him. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, dear. Goodbye. You are the weakest dwarf. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Leave. Why did you blitz this guy? That was much better than me putting him. I would have put him on the tree. I would have just put him on the tree, but obviously that was way better than putting him on the tree, putting him into the crowd, wasn't it? <laughs> that was obviously way better than putting him on the tree. Wow.
I mean, Jayleaf has to do that's the tree now. <laughs> he just has to. Well, that was that was a bit sloppy, wasn't it, from Jayleaf? He had to. Uh, he had to see that coming. I mean, even though I didn't. <laughs> I'm not playing the game, okay? I just looked at it and I was like, oh, you can put him on the tree. Like, I didn't like him ending up on the tree. But then if I'd looked, you know, if I was playing the game, I would have probably... I'd like to think I would have seen, wait a minute, I'm just going to get served. Yeah, it is an active tree, isn't it? I mean, it, it does run the risk of rooting, but... um. It's also, it's also going to get smashed by the ogre instantly here, isn't it? Yeah, it's not it's not terrible, is it? A five plus one D? <laughs> it's possible. You can be my wingman PC. anytime. Bullshit. You can be my <laughs> Flicky walking into a lamppost. <laughs> Hello PC, thank you very much for the red. Welcome PC listeners. to an amazing match the round of 32 world championship um, game two Jay Leave beat Olivier Delac 2-1 you just missed it he won with a throw teammate on turn 16 incredible manoeuvre and now if he can draw Olivier Delac Olivier Delac will be out so pretty incredible I don't eat cornflakes, Thulian. I eat um, oats. Oats. Gluten free oats is what I eat. It's kind of the best two out of three, yeah. Yeah. The ogre is constantly, constantly boneheaded, yeah. This has been a really bad ogre this, this half. Game one was absolutely incredible, yeah, yeah. Yep, all of the games from all of the knockout games, every single game in the knockout phase is going to be two games. If there's a clear winner after two games, then they've won. If nobody has the advantage, they will play a third game with overtime enabled. So in this case, the J League winning the first game, if Olivier wins, it's 1-1. So they play a third game. If it's a draw or Jay Leave wins, then Jay Leave has eliminated the number one ranked tabletop player in the world. It is it is a resurrection through the entire tournament. Overnight oats. Do you know what? I don't really do overnight oats. No, Kayla. No. No. No, just quick and dirty. Just something to eat, isn't it? <laughs> no, Thurian. <laughs> And, and what effect does it have, Kalon? It would be hilarious, Tricky. I mean, I mean, but the, th the thing, it's not surprising, right? Like, although it is, I'm saying it's hilarious, that's more because of it being All World Alliance, right? Like, that's the reason it's hilarious. Like, you know, anybody can beat anyone in this competition. Absolutely, you know? And, like, even over three games, two or three games, yep. Mm. I just have porridge. 
I just have porridge. The most boring man on earth. I just have some gruel. Because <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> um, yeah, a 30, between 32 and 48 games. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of games, yeah. Brown sugar. Mm, I didn't know that about you, Kaylon. Must be slim pickings in Ireland. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, he cast him! <laughs> Jump up from that! Oh, he might appo it. He does appo it. Wow, he did jump up from that, kind of. Finally, the ogre stops being stupid and just eliminates the tree. Gets the knockdown. Wow. Wow, he had been bad. He had just been stupid for like three or four turns in a row and then he just smashed a tree to oblivion. Glorious. <laughs> He's powering up. No, there is no OT. This, so these games can be draws, right? These games can be draws. There's no OT until game three. Maybe I should make like a little five minute video explaining how the knockout matches work. Oh, so there's OT in the third game. There's OT in the third game. So the first two, there's no OT. There can be draws. But then for the third game, there is OT enabled. And yeah, and then kicks if necessary. Glorious. This is pretty nice from Olivier, isn't it? There's not really a... Uh, Gialeaf hasn't really got close to him at all. He had to, he had to cover the sideline, just couldn't, couldn't get there. And he stayed pretty deep, but not deep enough. Can't get around um, after this lineman's here. Oh, well, he's going to have to rush with the lineman, right? Yeah. I think maybe he should have rushed him to there. Does it make any difference? No. So 4-3 to one dice him. Maybe get a catcher through as well to make it a 2-do. I mean, maybe he just blitzes somebody and then, you know, puts pressure on to maybe get a two-turn chance, but can't see. Maybe honestly, yeah. Maybe just bang the bang the dancer, and save all your rerolls for the halfling toss. Hello, Dimmy. Yeah, they can play. They can play them at any time. Um, Olivia and. Jay Leave have chosen to play these two back to back, but there's they're under no obligation, they can play at any time. Okay, so he does try for the like uh base with tackle, I guess. This is risky, uh getting the thrower involved, right? Olivier really wants to nail that thrower before Jay leaves offense. Can this guy get all the way around? Really want him all the way around, don't you? I feel like you should have had something more in here because you're just going to blitz him and dodge away. Right? I guess he's got him there. Oh, he's in. Well, now you can blitz out through him. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I would have had, I would have had the guard in there, right? I would have had the guard in here. Um, but 
and like maybe the ogre there and like the catcher here because you, you're just putting men on him so that that could have been a catcher and then you could have had the strength of the ogre over here making things a bit difficult but pretty nice pretty nice turn from Jay Leave again pretty nice playing pretty well I've got literally no idea, Kill. <laughs> Kill on the third. All right, he's blitzed. He's got a three-two with the ball now, or he just does it. No problem. Never in doubt. He's not going to score. He's got twos to make the cage. He might have scored if he could have scored without rolling a 3-2, right? If he could have just scored for free, maybe he would have scored, but... Oh. Whee! Hmm. Tricky, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's two pluses with three rolls. The question is, is there something you can do? And the answer is probably not. No, okay, there is something you can do, but it's uh, ludicrous. So you probably won't try it. Yeah, two plus dodging with dodges. Be ridiculous. What's dead was a tree, which I pulled. Um, a cast woody and a kale woody. This was surfed. Just basing the ball with tackle isn't really going to cut it here, is it? Yeah, honestly, blitzing the tackler, blit blitzing the wood, the war dancer is probably the best shout. He's not going to do. It. Oh, okay, look, he's going to chain in the guarder. Okay, this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. Well done, well done, Jay Lee. That does something, doesn't it? Getting the guarder in the back there. Like, I don't really know what, but it does something. Oh, he's just gonna, he's just gonna cage dive. Two dice with tackle, yeah. Six plus dodge in for a 2D. Surely. No! No, Jimmy! No, how can you, how can you set up this block and not do it? So apparently he didn't set up this block, but he should have done, because <laughs> he had set it up, <laughs> and he could have had guard, and that could have been a 6 plus for a 2D. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. Like, it was so good, wasn't it? It was so good just doing that. If you were just going to blitz this guy, and like, uh... And like you know, but then you still have a two plus away. So no, you still you did have to do the cage dive. But oh yeah, he's just got, he's got his weird blimp. He, he's not just side. It's like it's like this far out as well, and and it's higher. It's higher than this as well. It's like proper blimp cam. It's uh, pretty tough to watch. I'll be honest. He shut down the touchdown dance. Yeah, good moral victory, Dimmy. Um, so Olivia has to put the side steps on to stop the uh, catcher. This is the uh, wrong line to stop the throw teammate. Just quietly, very wrong line. 
Olivier Dulac, not a fan of spreadsheets and calculations, clearly. You would think that uh, tabletop players would have uh, worked that out, wouldn't you? But they're not all big giant nerds, <laughs> like Torquemada, <laughs> who has worked it all out. So yeah, this is absolutely um, incorrect. Incorrect line. It should have been one line further forward. Or two, actually. Well, one or two, I, I can't remember. <laughs> After saying it, confidently stating that it's wrong. <laughs> it's, it's hard to work out looking at this upside down. Um, And actually, with so few players, that might change things a bit as well, actually. Yeah. So that's the end zone. One, two, three. Yeah, the fourth one out from the end zone. So yeah, one, one further forward. Um, if it's a win each, they play a third game. Cosmigo, that's that's the beauty of it. If it's if it's equal after two games, they play a third game with overtime. I think it's an incredible system. Oh wow, what a horrible, 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 horrible kick! The good thing is it doesn't have to dodge afterwards, right? But it's a five plus pickup into handoff. Double rush into backwards handoff. Makes me wonder if he's going to try and just blitz the tree first, right? He could do. He's got loads of players. So I guess he just tries to 3D the catcher first. But it's a bit risky, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's probably got to just try and blitz the catch. He's got to try and blitz the... Uh... Wait, hmm, how many players has he got? Three, four, five, six. So he blitzes him. Powers him. And then he can fill this square. But he can't fill the other square. But then he can punch him again. Yeah, no, he punches him again. So he punches him there and he sides up there and then he 3Ds him again. So this is fine. Yep, 3D here. And then you can only you can only sidestep to there, and you three D him again, and then he's gone. You'd really like to power him, obviously, but it doesn't matter because he can't he can't go forward for the throw. So here we go, double rush, handoff. So four plus pickup, four plus handoff. And then another another halfling toss. Let's go. Oh my god, imagine if he beats Olivier twice with halfling toss twice. 
He's made the handoff. He's got one reroll left. Flip me. No, he's got sure hands. He had a double rush. Maybe he shouldn't have rerolled the cage dive last turn. Makes a, a, a plus one to land. Makes the land. Oh my god, two rushes. Let's go, Halfling. Oh, he's got to reroll the dodge. He's done it! <laughs> Easy to beat Olivia to like just make two halfling tosses. <laughs> and after getting blitzed on as well. Flip me in the first game. First game he got blitzed on. Now there's nine players. Jay Lee's got eleven. There's no apple. This is very, very I mean at least drawable for Jay Lee, right? This is the thing. He doesn't even have to score right now. He doesn't even have to score. He doesn't even have to score. That's the craziest thing, right? Olivier has to come for him. Has to come for his balls. And uh, if he can't get it, he's going to be disappointed. Wow. What a match. What a match. He could turtle. You could tell. Look, look at the difference from the first game. Now he's got the absolute protection versus the blitz. And the tackler is protected. So it, he instantly, Jay Leave has learned from the uh, first match. No, I think. I don't think he's going to try for an early score. I think what he's going to do is. Do this right, cover against the blitz, uh, be just as safe as possible, give himself the chance of an outlet if he can, right? Because Olivier, like, it's tough, right? He has to defend. Olivier has to defend against the quick score and while trying to pressure. So you just want to keep your options open, keep the heart, keep the like catcher as an option to hand off to and stuff, but just mostly try to stop, just try to beat him up, right? Just try to beat him up and, uh, this 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 is a really horrible uh, time to be in the rain, though, isn't it? Oh my god, really deep kick. I'd probably move back with everybody and occupy this kind of area that elves love to get in. Because, like, they can't, you know, like, they can't get around and wall off here, right? They can get around and wall off around these squares. So I'd probably drop everyone back to these squares, so they just can't split my team. And that's kind of what Jay Lee's done a little bit, hasn't he? He's occupying that kind of area. It's like very hard to get in behind this now for for uh, Olivier. Old World Alliance OP. Now the problem is with this guy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have hit with this guy. I'd have dropped this guy back to here as well, because now he can turn the corner. A little bit. Oh, block ogre gets the knockdown and the AV break. Oh, no jumping up from a stun, mate. That means he can abandon the tree next turn. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, I do think Jay Lee has played played very well. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's good. That knockdown means that he can, yeah, he can fill this out the width a little bit. Really nice. Yeah, honestly, I do think uh, I do think Jay Lee has played pretty great, but he has failed the pick up in the rain, and now the Woodies are coming as as best they can. He's gonna blitz this guy and then get twos down here. Oh, nightmare! That's the pow sidelines in. He's got one player behind. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then try and make a cage for him. Whoa. <laughs> Why didn't I take knocks? <laughs> I don't think that's what Olivier is thinking at all. But <laughs> it could be. So he's got, you know, a blitzer and a scorer. Now, this is horrible, isn't it? He's failed at 75%. You can only get to the center circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. These guys can come to make cage corners. He can blitz and make another cage corner. So he can make, he can have a full cage in the center, but like it's obviously horrible because then you're just inviting pressure, which is horrendous. So. Really, really tough. Really tough for Jay Leave now. No, no, it's the. I mean, he re rolled it. He had sure hands, Cosmigo. He had sure hands. I mean, it's definitely correct to re roll the pickup, even if he didn't have sure hands, because this is how you lose. This is a big, big lose point. I hate this guy coming back here. You have to have a tight cage. Too easy. Yeah, it sure hands you. It was a 75% pickup. Failed it. I don't like this extended cage. It's not really doing a whole lot in the case of a failed pickup. And it's making you weaker if you succeed. I, uh, I mean, I get that he's going to try and. Uh, what's it called? Uh, finger bust this. But still not a fan. He can't even make blocks. He's just going to go straight for it. Fails the first pickup. Makes it on the reroll. Flip me. Oh! Fails the dodge. Then makes it second time. Brawler. Does nothing. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I mean, both down's fine here. He's got armor 7. Well, armor 8 plus. That's a stun. I mean, it's not really unclenched, right? The problem is, it's not really unclenched. You're still very much clenched here. Because Olivier Delac is sending, what, 5, 6, 7 elves at this cage. And, uh... So... You haven't instantly lost, <laughs> but you're absolutely under the cosh still. Right. It is absolutely standard Olivier Delac, right? Just assaulting the cage with pretty much everybody. Oh, and he gets the AV break. Whoa. He might have to dodge with a ball carrier as much as he won't want to. I 
would assume this guy's going to tag the tackle, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. There or there, I guess. Not here, right? Because too weird. So he's got to go probably up here so he's screening with a dancer. Yes, he has got the handoff chance right there by having the. The, the great thing about the Venga bus here, rather than a tight cage, is that he has got the handoff to the human catcher. The problem is, it's a, you know one in four it goes wrong, so it's high risk, very high risk. But if he has to, he's got it as an option. And the thing is, he's going to have these two guys to come back and help out. So he should be able to do something. J Leave is ahead. J Leave won the first game. Unbelievably. And he scored a one turn with the halfling in this game. So he's got the advantage in this game as well as being 1 0 ahead in the series. Old World Alliance with a chance of knocking out one of the uh, highest ranked players, one of my uh, super players. No, it's not. It's not sassy at all. Like it's not. It's not a knock on Jay Leave. It's a knock on Old World Alliance. And it was unbelievably. If you saw the game where he started off getting blitzed by Olivier Dulac, and. Uh, Olivier Dulac catching the ball with a uh, with a bloody um, war dancer after stunning his tackler. Like the first turn was outrageous. Okay, he's we're going for the eight out of nine dodge. He fails it. He makes it. Oh, Let me get the pow, and this keeps the uh, dancer tagged. Even if the troll go, they troll the old go stupid. No, oh, no, it doesn't. Ah, oh, yeah, it does it go stupid? But take the push. I wonder if the bolt down was better. I don't know. Now we can try to get the wrestler off. Man, it really sucks. <laughs> the problem is these elves, he can just surf you. He's probably not going to surf you though, so I guess you can stay there. You don't have to try the second dodge. He does do the second dodge though. Makes a little screen there, that's quite nice. Oh, there's a lineman there. Good recovery by Jay Leave. Like, obviously, it sucked having to do a uh, 3 plus dodge, but got away with it. Nice little screen. I mean, it does something, doesn't it? It does something. Blitz is the blitzer. This is the ball again. He's just going to keep. He's just going to keep up with this. Things definitely happened, Dimmy. Yep. This is a lot easier to keep, keep like escaping now, without the stun. He had guard cage corners as well, didn't he? Which was really nice. Jay Lee's playing very well, honestly. Makes you wonder why he made such a big mistake to choose all of the lions. Well, hey. <laughs> He could double rush and base the cage with a tree. That would be incredible, yeah. Base the uh, base the tackler with the tree as well, isn't it? Not just the cage. Yeah, this is huge. Oh my god, if he makes this. If he makes this double rush. Oh man. 
And he gets it as well. Whoa. Okay, this is a bit tricky. <laughs> I mean, he can blitz. He can blitz the dancer and like get up here and stuff and like have a bit of a cage. It's not terrible, but it's uncomfortable. Man, he really wants, he really wants to 3D with the ogre like so bad. Because if he gets the power, he gives him the assist for the uh, troll dan uh, troll dancer. <laughs> The Troll Slayer Dancer hit. But, like, if he goes stupid, it's game losing almost. So, tricky, tricky turn. Yeah, very ballsy double rush. He could dodge the tackler to blitz the dancer, which is like seems stupid, right? But if you're gonna dodge him anyway, you can like plan for success rather than plan for like you know rather than try to mitigate failure. But no, he just does the blitz. Oh my god, he got a one in eighty one on the blitz. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the worst thing is, he can't even knock over the tree because he can just jump up and then block, maybe even. I mean, he's got sure hands, yeah, but it's not good though, is it? Gets a knockdown. Kaz. Yeah, that's pretty good. He can not punch this guy. He does go for the ogre now because he's not got the cage there anymore anyway, so. Oh man. No, oh, this is brutal. <laughs> getting it. He's getting all the pals now. But he hasn't got the ball in a cage. I mean, Livia just has to punch, and then punch doesn't have him. Let's do some punches. I mean, it's not going to be an uphill, though. I think you open with the tree. Let's see what happens. That seems like the best play. Pretty fast game, Olivia. 7.15 left, JLE 5.37. This is a bit of a thinky turn, right? Because you don't want to start with a troll, right? You know, the tree. You don't want to start with a tree. But first impressions, the tree hit looks pretty, pretty, pretty tempting. Yep, yeah, could dodge to make... No, he can't make the tree three dice because he's got this. So I guess he could, he could dodge to cancel the tackle, but then, and then he could try and three dice here. Well, the power could make it a 2D if you could punch this guy. So it could 3 dice this one. Are you roots? But he gets the pow. Just two skulls.
Maybe as well taking resources that he doesn't really have. I, I quite like hitting this. I guess you could still hit him with a dancer, but it's harder. Okay, he's gone for the 2D. I didn't realize that the wrestler there. But obviously, how you blitz the ball. Oh my god, he caught it. Oh. Oh. That's actually terrible. That's actually terrible. No touchdown for you. Casual 6 plus catch. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Was that was that like a dodge and two rushes? Dodge, dodge, rush. So three twos hasn't needed any rerolls. I mean, he he got really lucky with the pals and the dodges and the re and the uh, hits. The thing is, um, saying that you could decline the catch, like you couldn't decline a catch in real life, right? If you threw a ball at Legolas, he'd catch it, wouldn't he? You couldn't just choose not to. <laughs> because it goes into it goes into the time bank up here, you can see in the uh in the corner. So five fifty six. So this is this is limited. Um and then if that goes to zero, then it ends instantly. So as the games get to the nitty gritty end, we have seen people run out of time completely. Some people say that you can reroll successes that you 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 couldn't used to be, but oh my, what, that, what is that? It's not English. <laughs> um, in previous editions, you were not able to reroll successes. However, I've heard people say that you can now, so maybe you can. But of course, people aren't necessarily correct, so I wouldn't. Uh, Take that as gospel. I just simply do not know. People are notoriously bad at getting rules right. <laughs> so. Man, well that's a dis it's funny how like annoying it is to catch the ball on a play that's activated as elves. He can't go anywhere. Like if if he'd stood here, right, he could have blitzed, then he could have just been like, oh well, four plus over here or whatever, or three two out, or three two out, but he's completely stuck. <laughs> you couldn't used to be. <laughs> Thanks, Timmy. Let's just check uh, Olivier's end zone. No players there. J leave? No, no players there. He's just watching his time count and run down. Lyman's name is Imposter. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Furiously <laughs> mashing the handle button, hoping it pops. <laughs> Maybe. Ogre in there. Guard up. Two dice. I mean, he's got to hit with the tackle, right? As much as he doesn't want to. He just has to hit with a tackle. It's a good direction. It's into follow up hits, like you just have to hit with a tackle down here. It also gets a tackle on the dancer, which isn't terrible. It gets him away from the tree, so. Yeah, it's pretty good. You'd rather, like, obviously, you know, blit block him or blitz somebody else and stuff, and don't really want to use your tackle just blocking this guy, but. Like, it, you've got to. Oh, I don't like moving this one. Do not like moving him. Oh my god. 
Jay Lee has not had the dice apart from the one turn score. Well, he hasn't had the dice this half, right? He had he had it the first half with the one turn. He has not had the dice this half at all. Brutal dice. No, oh, well, he didn't really want that catch either. <laughs> The good thing is, is players don't have loner anymore. <laughs> I mean, this guy just has to go one up, right? Oh, you can blitz. And the Slayer. Gets a pow with mighty blow. Not. It's an absolute mess. It's a thriller though, isn't it? Tree is rooted. This isn't easy for Olivier. Yeah, yeah, if the tree wasn't rooted, this would have been a horrendous catch. But as it is. Yep, this actually isn't such a bad catch. At least at least one of his players has got the ball. Yeah, at least one of his players has got the world. Got the ball. Imagine, like, if he just hadn't picked up the ball, it's worse, right? So it's, it's better that it's on somebody. Even though he can get stripped. It's actually not easy to strip him, is it? So. Wow. Yeah, it's rain, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's rolled a one. That's a re-roll gone. You can just run around and hit now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rush. I mean, if he wants to hit in the tree, then he's got to do a three, two out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, he's got to do a three, two out to cancel this assist. And then he's got a three, two, one. He's probably got a three, three, two all the way around. Seems better to run around this way and hit him. Oh. I mean, jumping isn't great, but I, I guess he could jump to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rush. Like it's still not good. Yeah, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. But jumping, leaping is not what he wants to do. And this guy's got a three-two out as well. So I think it's better to three-two, two, around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rush. Hmm. Don't know. Hit the catcher. No, oh, yeah. But with who? Oh, with a jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rush. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No rush. Okay, I was being stupid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then put it in the tree. No, he does it with this one for a 1D, gets the push. Man, I mean, that's a 3+, plus. that's 4, oh, that's spicier. This means he's got the dancer left to, left to hit if he pushes him in, which he does. <laughs> Flip me. He uphill double powers him. <laughs> What a turn! No oh, catch, catch fails. Two tackle zones and rain though is very safe for J Leave. <laughs> it's an insane game. I'm exhausted just watching it. <laughs> Oh, 
up. Pops dodge. And the 3 2. No more corner cutting for you. Wow. Well, that is. Do you scatter? It's pretty tempting because it's three dice. And then, like, okay, he's got two catches, which sucks. But, like, he's sized up so you can't clear him very easily. So, it's interesting. I mean, three dice smashing the uh, dancer is really tempting. He does pow him. Does he scatter? He does not scatter. He only stuns him. He only stuns him. He's not out of the woods. But now he's got tackle on the sidestepper. Pals him. Does he scatter? Now you don't have tackle to. Okay, so Olivia did not want to. Did not want to scatter himself. Oh, what a game! Do you know what I like doing? Moving somebody here or here in case this is a fail. He's got no rerolls. That's a one in nine block. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe just here, right? Maybe just move this guy to here. In case of the fail. Fails the pickup. This guy isn't really doing anything, right? Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm this victorious, guy. and I will defend. I feel like I will defend. I have to get this guy Thanks to like here or something. Thanks for this extended coverage. It's a lot of casting. Oh, thank you very much, Aura for BB. Thanks for staying fantastic for one who fever pregnancy. Thank you very much. And now this is a three plus pickup, and he's got the ball. So now we'll do the dancer. Yeah, this is the problem. Like, I get that he wants to pick it up and go somewhere, but I think you have to, you have to move these guys that are in no man's land first. Or at least doing something right, like three, four, five. He could have bracketed this guy, forcing a three-two out. This one could have like gone one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, a rush. He can't make the rush. This guy could have stood there to cover the side, stuff like that. No, if Olivier scores, he does not have the halfling. Olivier will be trying to stall till turn 16 um, and win. This was Olivier's drive, so no halfling. Hello, PC. Yep, J. Leave won thanks to a halfling toss. It was unbelievable. Thanks for the raid. Oh, he makes a rush. Maybe he's going to score. This game has been bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. Funny, isn't it, how much better it would have been if this guy was here and this guy was there, but it's understandable in the heat of the moment to, uh, you know, think, look, I've just got to get this 75% pick up and plan for success. I, I understand that. I still think he wasn't going to leave them here if you, even if you picked up, right? So at least move them where you want them to be if you make the pick up. Because they're not staying here if he makes the pick up. And this is bad if he fails the pick up. So he should have moved these two first. But fair enough. Fair enough. 
And like, it's just like, literally, it would have been so much better, right, to have this Blitzer here. Should be always for adult nappies. Yes, to me. Oh man, everything Olivier's done has worked this turn. Mega turn for Olivier. Huge. Flip me. Nah, WSPD because next turn Olivier was going to be able to scatter it and then like pick it up in a 3 plus anyway, right? So you might as well take the 3 out of 4 to pick it up yourself. But he probably should. I mean, not probably. He definitely should have planned either for success. Like, he didn't plan for either, right? He just didn't move these two. He should have either thought, I'm going to pick it up and go here. So I need this guard here and this guy here. Or I'm going to foul him with this guy. So I need this guy here. Whatever he had, he had to, like, he had to have done something other than what he did. But, I mean, I would think, you know, planning for failure was better. Um, but. Did you miss a Kaz? I don't know. Two Kaz. Catcher, lineman, and lineman KO'd. This is looking very, very bad for. But I mean, he might get a one turn chance, uh, or even a no, a one turn chance. J League might get a one turn chance out of this. I don't hate the six plus ogre dodge. Not doing it though. But you know what, Jay Leaf can get another one turn chance, but now he's got no reroll, right? So it's. They're not going to play the the third game after this, no, to me. But it, it's looking like a third game now, isn't it? But they're not going to play it straight after. They just wanted to get two done. And if they're playing the third, they'll organise that later. Oh, man. I mean, I think Olivier is going to have to score this turn. But is that going to be enough? From Jay Lee? Maybe not, right? Maybe he should have gone for the Ogre. The Ogre uh, 2D. No, I, don't, I really don't think it's stallable. I would disagree. I would disagree, PC. I think. He did leave room to dance. That's true. No, I... No, PC. <laughs> no. He only... Le and plus he's only leaving the... Um, the one turn on with no rerolls. So... Will we have a turd fling? Maybe. It could be a timeout. But again, no rerolls, right? So, timeout or fling. Yeah, that would be that would be tragic for Olivia. Yeah, that would be. You'd have to feel pretty sorry for him if that happened. In the rain, no rerolls. This is basically over. Wow, what a what a start to the uh, knockout phase. Don't say it's over. You could have like a halfling here, right? 
so that he could go one, two, three, four, and then throw him from one further in as an option, right? Around seven percent. Interesting that Olivier is three out. I'm sure that's wrong. I like this guy there where, you know, where the tree isn't. It, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Rush, rush. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It should be uh, one one in front of where Olivia is. That's where it should be. Or two. There you go. Um, Olivier wins the game. 2 1. But ties the series. So there you go. Crazy game. Incredible game. Um, yeah, there's no reason for Jerry to try anything, right? Um, he couldn't get the throw teammates. So that was it. So yeah, congratulations, Olivier Dulac, for that game. And now they are tied. They've both won 2 1. So there will be a third game in the series a tiebreaker match with overtime enabled so incredible stuff um well played both of them thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>